Hello and welcome to Maths by Saas. This is my third lesson of data number one, exercise 1b. That is about the real life application of LCM and HCF. Uh, this is uh, actually third lesson of uh, bridging videos uh, of LCM and HCF problems. These lessons we are making in order to overcome uh, the learning loss of our students and uh, bridge uh, the syllabus gap due to the COVID-19. These questions are really important uh, for O-level examination point of view as well. While I was uh, making the plan for my O3 students, uh, I was uh, uh, finding that these questions are part of the O-level examination of May, June and October, November 21. So these small questions from D1 are really important. So, so uh, not only uh, my young students of class 6, 7 can get benefit from these lessons, but uh, my O2, O3 and O1 students can also uh, watch and understand these lessons to, uh, to uh, get the problems of your O-level examination. So uh, let's move to the discussion of the question. And the question that I have selected for today's discussion is from the review exercise 1, D1, page uh, 23 and uh, let me keep the book here and uh, let me read the question from the book question uh, 6 says that Sherry needs to pack 108 stalks of roses 81 stalks of lilies and 54 stalks of orchards into identical baskets so that each type of flower is equally distributed here the term equally distributed is important among the baskets, find the largest number of the baskets that can be packed and the number of each type of flowers in the basket. Okay, students, recall my previous lesson that well, what are the terms that will be helping us uh, after reading these uh, problems of everyday life and uh, problems of your common life that uh, whether you have to apply HCF or LCM when the question says the largest or the greatest number of the packs so in that case what we have to do we have to find HCF and then uh, in order to decide that in each box in each bag in each a pack how many things can be distributed equally what is the rule for that that we have to divide the given quantity by the HCF in order to find how many equal gift packs you can make so uh, by, uh, after discussion of the question let's move to the solution of the question and uh, let me uh, see the quantities once again that uh, 108 stocks of roses 81 lilies and 54 orchards are identically packed in the, to the basket so that each flower is equally distributed among the baskets. Find the largest number of baskets that can be packed. Okay, so first of all, what we have to do, we have to find the HCF of the given quantities. So the total number of roses, total roses are total roses which are given in the question are 108 and now what we have to do we have to make the prime factorization of 108 so uh, for making the prime factorization because we need to get the HCF we should have good command on tables mental math skills and calculations and uh, your tests of divisibility look here students the unit digit is uh, even so we can easily divide this 108 by 2 so 2 uh, how many times 5 times and uh, 2 4 sir. and this is again unit digit is 2 uh, this will become uh, 2 uh, 2 sir, and 2 7 sir. And then a 7, we cannot divide 7 by uh, 2. So which other number is suitable for 27? 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is easily divisible by 3. So this whole number will be divisible by 3. And this will become uh, 3 nines are. And then what we have to do, 9 is a composite number. We do not have to leave our working in this way. So uh, we have to uh, stop our working at 1. 3 how many times 3 3's are and 3 1's are 
I am going really slow because I am making these lessons for my class 6 and 7 students. So the prime factorization of 108 is uh, that 108 I have to write these all factors in index form in short form and students we know that how to write the given numbers as the index form like 2 is coming 2 times so I'll write 2 raised to power of 2 multiplied by 3 cube and multiplied by 1 moving to the second number which is 81 so let me make the factors of 81 81 mm, okay 81 uh, here the unit digit is 1 we cannot divide 1 by 2 so 81 is not divisible by 2 8 plus 1 is 9 so we can easily divide this number by 3 uh, 3 uh, 2 is a 6 and I'm left with 2 that 2 will be given to 1 21 3 7 is a 21 again 7 plus 2 is 9 so now we can easily divide this number by 3 3 how many times 3 9 is a 27 okay uh, then three how many times uh, three three is a nine and then I have to go for one more step that I have to see th three how many times is three one times so the prime factorization of 81 is complete so see children three is coming how many times three is coming one two three and four times Okay, 3 raised to power of 4 will be the index notation for the prime factorization of 81 and moving to 54 so let me go for 54 at this place again look the unit digit is even so I can easily divide this number by what by 2 okay so 2 how many times uh, 2 27 times and then 27 uh, how many times and which table 27 the part 27 the suitable table is 3 3 9 is at 27 3 uh, 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1s are 3 1s are okay uh, 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 2 is a 54 so for 54 what can we do is 2 is coming once only and 3 is coming uh, how many times 1 2 and 3 and uh, this is 1 okay now we have to find the HCF the largest number of ba baskets for largest number of baskets what we have to do is number of baskets or gift bags that we can make is uh, the HCF of these all numbers now look recall HCF product of common factors only if we uh, look at 2 2 is not coming in all uh, three numbers so there is no reason for 2 to have uh, the common factor moving to 3 we can see that 3 uh, in 108 3 is coming 3 cube uh, as these lessons are for class 6 and 7 students so maybe they find it difficult in this way to decide that what is the common factor or what is the highest common factor 3 cube can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 from 81 3 is coming uh, 3 raised to power 4 so this is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 okay and from 54 again 3 is coming how many times 3 raised to power 3 so 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 now uh, ring up the 3's which are coming in all uh, 3 places okay so loop up the uh, those uh, places where 3 is coming at all 3 places uh, one the first time 3 is coming over here and then second time 3 is coming over here in all three numbers and third time 3 is coming at this place so it means that the largest number of baskets is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 so 
uh, from 108 uh, roses and 21 uh, lilies and 54 archers we can make 27 such baskets okay i hope you are clear that how we are deciding how we are finding that how many complete packs we can make out of different quantities okay and now uh, let me uh, have some fun and coloring so that this number beca becomes prominent and my junior students can also uh, enjoy this work okay so this is the first place where three is coming okay and this is the second place where three is coming okay I'm going really slow because class six and seven students are finding difficulty in these questions so I thought to discuss these questions and uh, secondly these questions are important for my O2 and O3 students as well okay now after making and after deciding that we can make 27 such baskets or 27 such packs uh, how to decide that in each bas basket in each pack uh, how many uh, flowers of each type will be coming how many things of each type will be coming for that purpose the which is the second part the number of each type of flower the number of each type of flower in a basket number of each type number of each type of flower type of flower in a basket now we are going to discuss that in these 27 baskets how, how many roses how many lilies and how many archets we can place uh, okay so the uh, rule for that is that quantity divided by hcf quantity divided by hcf that will tell us that how many things we can uh, put in one bag so that we can have equal number of bags with equal objects so uh, we are having uh, roses are 108 so then we have to find the number of roses number of roses so what we have to do we have to divide 108 by 27 108 uh, divided by 27 or I can write it in this way 108 by 27 so uh, for my junior students and especially for my O3 where calculator is not allowed 8 plus 1 is 9 uh, 9 threes are and 9 ones are and 9 twos are 3 ones are and 3 fours are three ones are and three fours are and which is equal to four roses in each uh, basket and then and, uh, moving to the next uh, type of flower 81 lilies number of uh, lilies uh, they are 81 81 uh, divided by uh, 27 uh, this will be 81 over 27 and I hope uh, 9 threes are and 9 nines are and 3 ones are 3 threes are which is equal to 3 okay and now moving to the number of uh, archers okay number of archers there are total of uh, 54 so that would be 54 uh, divided by uh, 27 so that will give me 27 to 54 i hope a uh, really easy question the only one rule that we have to keep in our mind is that in order to find uh, or in order to make the equal distribution we have to use the rule quantity divided by hcf so there must be four um, stocks of uh, roses and three uh, three of lilies yes three of lilies and two stalks of orchards in each basket in each bag so that we can have all 27 baskets identical students i hope you are really clear about today's class 
for next difficulty level please catch me in the next class in the next class we will be discussing uh, how to read and interpret and uh, draw a pie chart because that was also one of the problem for uh, some of my students and that is also one of you know, the important concepts of your o level examination please uh, watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much